always a fantastic pleasure to be here enjoying this game enjoying everything we do as we enjoy this endeavor to make something to make a living <laughs> i don't know whether you can make a living out of this <laughs> otherwise you will be you'll be stressed so one thing that i've just noticed in the recent past is there's been a shift some call it a paradigm shift the way this thing is playing is very very abnormal so there's been changes into times that it normally pays now it's just going in a different different direction so it just reminds me of one statement that uh, one of the big traders right the guys on cryptocurrencies and stuff like that and they're on the money market um the trading that are doing gold gold trading that are doing forex trading you know this this gentleman said to me um because recently he bought a property worth about 58 million and he, he, it's, it's it's a huge complex and he was telling me i only had something like about 30 something uh, about 30 something thousand but i managed to build this into 58 million and i'm like how did you do that that was my big question i said how did you do that it was like no you know what the normal trading that we do but i just decided to go opposite so he was just trying to give me some sort of advice and he tells he tells me that at times when you have an opportunity to do things like that like trading and stuff like that at times you need to try and do the exact opposite of the expectations right so what that means is when everyone else is expecting that uh, it's a time that maybe the markets are going to decline uh, so it's time to flee from the market or to run away from it uh, or to withdraw your funds uh, and that's the time maybe you can actually put your money and stay in there right and just do the exact opposite and once you do the exact opposite you might actually find favorable results in uh, in rates or maybe in proportions that you'd never believe so i would relate very closely to this game the aviator game because i have studied it over time and i actually managed to see okay this is around this time that i've shared in the past i've shared the times that it normally pays but over the past couple of weeks months uh, things have been becoming a bit different okay so things are coming different and it's paying completely different yes at times it just does the normal thing that normally does but if you want to look for a big win you will not find it the normal times you will find it at a time that you actually don't expect it to pay right for instance you notice that it may pay you around say seven past the hour or ten past the hour which is a very, very rare time for me to play, for instance. So I just decided, why should I bother myself? <laughs> I don't have to bother myself now about looking at the time and all that. All I just do is I jump into the game whenever I just feel like jumping into the game. Obviously, I check the history because it's going to influence how I'm going to play. And then if it looks favorable for me, if it doesn't look like it has given lots of pinks in the recent past, then I can just jump in and start playing, you know, because I just realized we'll never really get anywhere in trying to be very much calculative and stuff like that. Because at times you just need to get your guts on and then just try and see if you can get something. So there I am pushing. I've pushed so hard and it's, it's, it's a very quick one. And at this stage, you know, uh, I didn't expect to see anything that goes beyond uh, beyond the 90x or something this is 96.64x i wasn't really anticipating this so i just jumped out but at least i've already doubled my capital that's been the most important thing doubling the capital so that maybe as i go on i can even take risks that's always my strategy i take risks but this is how i split my risk Right, so I'll either in the next period that I play, because I play in sessions like I always say, I play, I finish my session, I log out. At times it takes me 15 minutes before I start the next session. At times it takes me an hour before I play the next session. At times it takes three hours. At times I might even leave it for the whole day and maybe start again the next day, you know? At times, maybe I stay a little longer. So it just depends on how I feel and all that stuff. 
But this is the thing. You see now, I've just jumped into 2K. This is exactly what I, talk, I, I, I refer to when I'm speaking of uh, taking risks. I've put 2K now. And I'm hoping it will give me that 3x so that I can get myself a 6k. I jump straight into 21k. All right, so this is, it's, it's a risk. I would probably do this. You see, it has actually paid 2.99. It gives me almost 6k and I'm happy. So the next one, I can let it run and just see what goes on. All right, so the risks now can be split and I could either put more and cash out on a smaller or on a lower uh, multiplier, or I'll keep playing the same way, 200 top, 200 bottom, but then I'll have to wait maybe to get a 50X, a 100X or even more. So it's just about how I feel at that point or what opportunity has been posed uh, for me at that point. So it's, it's one of those things that every one of us will need to implement as we play. It's all about strategy. You see, I've gone the second time and immediately i just get myself a 25k <laughs> because of the risk that i've been taking you you see otherwise in 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 the recent past i've just checked and i i, I realized no if there is no other way for me to maybe try and wait and wait for a big one and all that then where am i going i'm just going in circles otherwise i'll not go anywhere so the best is to just take the risk so at this point i just saw Okay, since it's been giving pinks and, and purples, I was just expecting it's going to be a blue. And soon after that blue was a purple, and I just decided I'm going to keep my 200 uh, top and then my 200 bottom. Uh, because the thing is, if I do not have this anticipation uh, in my mind, then I'm not going to go anywhere. It's all about anticipation. It's all about planning. Because I know most people will then just jump into the game when they jump into the game, they just start playing and they don't have any focus. They don't have any target. They don't know how they're going to tackle the game, right? So I just missed it. If I had put 2K on that 3.23X, I would have taken maybe another 6K. I would have been lying probably again around the 25s or somewhere there. But anyway, it's all about instinct, like I always say. But I'm just thinking, since I started off about 7, if I push it all the way to about 25, that's okay. You can take a break. I can take a break. You don't have to be greedy all the time. You don't have to be greedy. Because the thing is, what has killed us, most of us, is greed. It's pure, pure, pure greed. And I'm one of them. I'm a witness to that. And I am also uh, guilty of the exact same thing. We are all guilty. And I would always point out this exact same point to everyone that is playing Aviator. In most cases, when you start playing, rarely, especially when you're playing on this platform, rarely do you get to a point where you start playing and you end without even making profit. We all make profit, that's to be honest. But the challenge is, when we look at the profit, we think this is, this is not enough profit. Because on a particular day, maybe when I'm playing, I put 200 top, 200 bottom, maybe the maximum profit I can get is about 3K, or at times it's about 5K. But the thing is, because I'm targeting the big ones, I end up missing it in the process, you see. But then that is where we all falter. That's where we get it wrong. But look, it's all about strategy. It's all about how you're going to tackle it every time when you have something drawn on there. Yes, like right now, I'm expecting a 15x. Unfortunately, it doesn't get there. It gets to about 12, 12, 12 x but it's time to leave. It's time to leave. I'll see you again in the next one.